All right. The cloud. I think majority of, I think all of you already know, or we heard, or even use your cloud applications on your mobile phones. And today we are going to talk about the cloud, the power of the cloud computing. But before that, what is cloud? Are we going to talk about this cloud today? Or you guys might think, all of you think about computers on the cloud. This picture reminds me back. When I was back in 2019, I have been invited for one conference. Uh, they invited me to talk about the cloud computing after the sessions. Then one a quite old guy came to me and literally asked me, hey, Harif, what is exactly the cloud computing? Uh, are there a lot of wired thing on the cloud? <laughs> so, so, so are you guys think the same thing? Are you guys think about whenever about we think about the cloud computing? Is it, is it even the computers can fly? So, so this picture is quite funny. If this is real, if that thing real, so pilot, I think, have a new problem now. They not going through birds, but now going through but computers. So, so this thing is basically a lot of people misunderstood about the cloud. Whenever we talk about the cloud, you might think about Google Drive, uh, iCloud, uh, whatever it is, right? A Dropbox, uh, uh, P Cloud, and a lot of applications. And the cloud itself, it's just a term. It's just a buzzword in the whole technology world. It's a metaphor for the internet. But the thing is, the cloud is, is like a mass applications for everyone, to, for, for your lifestyle and for your daily life to, to make sure that you're always on the go. But can you imagine for just 10 minutes, the whole world live without the internet connections. So the internet itself has been started and been revolutionized since 1983. From the brief history of the internet from usd.edu, 1983 is the, is the breakthrough that the whole world has been transformed from the information revolutions, they transform the whole world technology. Because of what? because of the internet. Why internet is very important? Because without the internet, there is no cloud computing. I'm not going to talk about cloud even. So why, why we, we really, really need the internet? And even when, whenever we talk about the internet, maybe back to 1990s, no one knows about the internet. But today, you go to everywhere, from kids, from elderly people, for anyone, whenever we talk about the internet, yes, my phone has the data. I use the internet. But whenever we talk about cloud computing, a lot of people misunderstood. The cloud computing is not exactly just a storage. But the cloud computing, even you can see this, every single year, the worldwide spending toward the public clouds it's very rapid. Why? Because the need of cloud computing is for industry. You maybe already heard about the industrial revolutions 4.0. Internet of things, the AI, the robotics, and how the whole industry been revolutionized is because the support behind is the cloud computing, the technology. So, is this a cloud computing? I think all of you, maybe because the cloud computing itself is very technical. Maybe some of the technical um, is very technical perspective, technical uh, team or the IT department might understand. Even even not not even the seasoned IT guy can really understand about cloud computing. And but we know the cloud storage is there. So so a Dropbox, iCloud, Google Drive, whatever the cloud storage that we know. It's basically, it's not a cloud computing, but the storage is a part of cloud computing. 
Maybe you already know about Amazon. One of the most popular e-commerce marketplace, or even like Alibaba, one of the most e-commerce popular in the world and in China. And Google, you might know that, okay, I'm using Google, Gmail, Google Suite. But do you know about Google Cloud? So basically, Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft ISO, Alibaba Cloud, and a lot of cloud providers, they basically deliver. Basically, the cloud computing is not only a storage, but it's a part of delivering the computing services. Servers, database, networks, AI, analytics. Now we know that uh, uh, Netflix, they're using what? The streaming services, the, the processors, and, and, and even more security, uh, even right now in blockchain technology. So, so cloud computing does a lot of things. It's very general when, whenever we talk about that technology. And, and, and maybe you, you, you need to know that before the cloud computing has born, into the world. What exactly this? It's just a, just a computer. So basically, if you, you, you buy the computer, you need what? CPU, RAM, disk, processor, and, and, and a lot more, all right? So it's just the same, but if, you, if you're running your business and you need a system, then you need to deploy your system on the server. So. To have the server, you need to develop the server room. You need to build the server room. To build the server room, you need what? Aircon, good aircon, good electricity, uh, good internet connections. Uh, maybe you need to uh, hire the security guard to secure all your uh, server room space and all CCTV. And, and you need the server rack. You need to have a very good server specs. And, and, and it's a lot more. It's not your job. Your job is to make sure your system running, your business running, but the cloud is getting demanded. And, and like I said, so, so the server, it just, you ran to the cloud. Basically the cloud computing, they have their own like server farm. They have uh, their own data centers that we don't need to think about and you ran it. All right. And, and even, for cloud computing has been pioneered by the IWS from the Amazon. All right. So, so why, why cloud computing is becoming the world demanded from the industry? All right. So, so the, the cloud computing is, is basically a, a, a demanded by from small businesses from startups to the government and large enterprises and the large companies. So today, whenever you go every single industry, not only the technology side, not only ICT, but it's been demanded by agriculture, education, and a lot more. So, so, so in uh, 2006, um, uh, Amazon founded AWS because in that time, the e-commerce is booming. A lot of physical businesses, they started to know that today uh, with the internet connections, everyone reached for the information, everyone wanted to buy online. So a lot of physical businesses went to online businesses. So the need of service is getting demanded. So they get the huge, the huge peak. So let's talk about what are they? What is the type of cloud computing? So, so, so you need to remember that whenever people talk about cloud computing, you need to make sure in your mind that it's not a storage. A storage, the cloud storage is the application. So the type of cloud computing, the first one, infrastructure as a service. So infrastructure as a service, they say Google, all right? Google, Google Cloud, they develop the data centers all over the world, like a huge data center and server farm. And then you can, uh, the, the business model like the ABNB for servers, like you ran whatever the specs that you need. 
for your business. The second one is platform as a service. Right? This is a very technical term and it's good for developers to make sure the deployment process is very seamless. The third one, before I, I touch into the third one, is basically maybe you, you, you get that this do you know CD, DVDs, right? Back in the days, you wherever you wanted to install Office, Microsoft Office, Adobe Photoshop, you need to have the CD. If you don't have the CD, you cannot do your job, right? So right now, with the power of cloud computing, by using the Google Chrome, your browser, you can do anything. And it's been processed on the cloud. Zoom, all right? The pandemic, Zoom has been revolutionized, have been very popular, but for online meetings, for, for I mean, uh, uh, webinars. And, and Microsoft 365 and Google Suite, Netflix, you can watch any movies at any time, right? So these are all because of the power of the cloud computing. And maybe you wanted to play game, right? When, when I was a kid, uh, maybe I don't have PlayStation 1, so maybe I need to pay two ringgit for one hour just to play a game. Today, you go to anywhere, all right? Google Stadia, uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming. You can, you can, you can even, you can imagine that you can play a high-end games at any time and anywhere by using what the internet. That's why I'm saying that without the internet, there's no cloud. But now everyone can access the internet. The next breakthrough, which is with the power of cloud computing, you can get the full advantage of it. What are the advantage of the cloud computing? The first one, because the cloud company is very related to the industry. All right? It's not for really for the end users. You, all of you just use the applications. Whatever application that you use has been powered by the cloud computing. The first one is pay as you go. If you want to develop one single website to start your e-commerce business, do you need to develop or build a server room that costs you 100,000 ringgit? So, Pay as you go. Grow as you scale. The second one, scalability. So stop guessing about the capacity. Whenever you receive the high traffic from your website or your system, you need to increase your, your servers, your capacity. So by, by having the cloud computing technology, like Google Cloud and everything, so whenever you reach certain um, uh, milestone, certain reach, then you upgrade your servers by using a dashboard. Within the clicks, within the minutes, your server scale. The third one is security. No need to think about, oh, I need to hire security guard. I need to, uh, 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 I mean, deploy CCTV. No need. So because the cloud provider itself already covered on the security. The fourth, quick start and you, you can You can start your business at any time and anywhere. So I have a wonder story because um, my team uh, have the software, a team that uh, uh, been requested one job. Hey, Arif, uh, we need to do uh, live streaming for a sport club. You can imagine my team able to develop within a week to make sure the live streaming goes without the problem. So when you think about when, let's say I were in, uh, back in 18 years ago, to develop live streaming for a sport club. So before I even started to develop a system, I need to go through about all how to, to set up the server. So it's very painful. The five, you can go global in minutes. They say you have many customers in US. So you can go set up your company in US and you, you reach your audience there and connect the data center over there. It's very easy. And, and, and basically, lots more. And cloud computing does a lot more. You can, uh, you can utilize the full power of the cloud computing and, and without thinking infrastructure, you can focus on your product, your business, and develop your product, productivity. Let's say I have 
uh, factories, uh, shoes factory. So I need to have one e-commerce, HR system, CCTV, financial system. So uh, uh, and then in in the traditional way, I need to running all the business by using paper. So I need to think about weeks or months to set up my infrastructure. In the modern way, right now by using the power of cloud computing, I can even deploy my servers in minutes. And everything integrated. Very easy to access. And it means that everything integrated and you can focus on, on your business. Let's say I receive a huge traffy. My business is growing. My show's business is growing. By using the capability of scaling of your servers, it's very peace of mind. All right? Okay, why the cloud computing is very important is because it's very scalable, secure, and highly performant, and you can get the dedicated resources to make sure your business always up and running. It's not locally, but you can also make sure your business can run globally. All right? So there's no more that you need to think about, hey, take care of my servers. Uh, I develop a server room, so I need to go uh, uh, Raya open house. Okay, you go there and make sure my server up and running. I make sure uh, my Raya sales is always going up. All right? So make the power of computing is to make sure your business on the cloud and the power of cloud, the power of cloud computing is nothing without the power of knowledge to use that. Thank you, everyone. Assalamualaikum.